So, this is me, Pops, Crazy Pops, on YouTube. So, I've been having a lot of problems with Sprint. Now, there's a couple of people that have given me money, uh, credits, towards my account. And uh, I'm, I'm thankful for that, Christian, and, and whatnot. But, again, if... I'm getting charged if I'm char if I'm paying my bill on time, and I'm not getting the service that I'm should be getting. Is for at least 4G. You know, why even bother? Why even have a cell phone? I mean, I, I try to call, video chat my wife, and it drops, it freezes, and it does everything, everything you can think of. Sometimes it even only comes up only 911 calls, only emergency calls only. You know, Sprint, you got your nerve. You know, I'm an honest taxpaying citizen that likes the better things in life. I'm entitled to this. But when your service sucks, I mean, I try to be, I'm, I'm out of Spokane, Washington. My wife's in Sanger, California. And no way, shape, or form can we stay in touch with each other on a daily basis because Sprint sucks. You know, you guys uploaded a bunch of stuff on my phone and I mean, uh, updated my, my profile and updated my phone. That's fine. But when you start giving people credits, it's because your service sucks. And I know this for a fact because I've given over $149.99 credits in the last 30 days. So aside from Christian, you know, I'm sorry, but I might be going back to at and you know, God willing. I don't want to, but why should I stick around to Sprint? You know, I've been waiting for a phone call from a supervisor for over four months now. Yeah, I handled my business. I finally got a hold of a supervisor. But again, if I'm talking to somebody like Xfinity, and I'm in the middle of a conversation and my phone drops, the guy didn't even have the decency to call me back, let alone want to give me my money back for something we were getting charged for. My my son found out we went to a entertainment package, which is uh, internet, Wi-Fi, and a flex box. So we've had this for a few months now, and we're still getting charged. We were getting charged for cable TV, and we don't even have a box, and they said we did. I had two or three boxes, and I returned them. A few months ago, in fact, like in, in end of February, beginning of March. But again, hey, that's my fault for, you know, trusting people. So I'm going to tread water lightly. And I'm going to forgive because it's the godly thing to do. I'm not going to forget. I'm just not going to trust you as much. Xfinity and Sprint. So mark my words one way or the other. Well, Xfinity... We fixed the problems. Now I'm on a no contract, month to month basis, and I'm only paying like $105 a month. Go figure. They were charging me almost $190 a month. And I didn't even have premium channels. But I'm going to tell you a secret. You could get a Flexbox and you get some apps. You don't get the channels, but you get apps. You know? And Netflix, you got to pay for it, which, which is fine. I mean, you know, it is what it is. But don't act like your representatives are perfect in representing you well. Because I was misled by people from Sprint, people from AT&T, people from uh, Xfinity. Sounds like everybody's got out to get me, right? Sounds like maybe I have an issue. I do. I trust people. So Sprint, Xfinity, AT&T, we'll see which one of you comes out smelling like a rose. As far as I'm concerned, you guys have my hands tight. And when, have you ever seen a cat backed up into a corner by dogs? What he does, he comes out swinging, clawing, swinging, and fighting his way to freedom. So Sprint, Xfinity, and AT&T, hope to see you AT&T. But Sprint, I think it's going to be goodbye for now, forever. I'm not going to wait around for you guys to fix your service or 
you say your towers are up and running and there's no issues, but yet I'm getting drop calls all the time. And that's not right if I'm paying a, a, a nice hefty bill for insurance and two new note 10 pluses. So maybe goodbye Sprint. It's sad to see you go, but I'm not going to waste my time and money on you and my efforts are effortless. With that being said, much love and respect to the whole world and TikTok fans. I'm no longer on TikTok. Yeah, I had a problem with them too. Anyways, I'm not going to tell you what it was about. All you need to know is they're not right. When it comes to children and adults, they're not right. Anyways, you guys take care. Much love and respect. Stay up, stay down, stay round. But mostly stay up on the grind 24-7. You'll be in heaven if you pay your bills. Take care, much love, and oh yeah, to the people that are out there fighting this coronavirus. <laughs> you guys are funny. Wearing your gloves and your masks in your cars. You know, you're taking whatever you get from the stores anyways, and the cashiers are touching everybody's products. And they don't change their gloves out like they should. I've seen restaurants do it too. I turn around and I, I don't I don't pay for my food. I tell them I don't want it. Never mind. And they look at me all like shocked and surprised because I'm telling them never mind after the register served me. Well, if somebody's got their, their hand with no glove and they're touching your cup around your lid, trying to be cautious, don't do that. Don't do that. Wash your hands. It's nasty. And people that are covering their mouths, for what reason? Are you sick? Because that's the way it's ran. Well, if you're a certain age, you should cover your mouth. If you're an elderly person, over 60. Or if you've got a cough or a cold, you got to cover your mouth. And little kids should cover their mouths. But, like, people my age, 55 and under, you know, if you're going to get sick, it's God's will. There's nothing you can do about it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So I don't wear a mask and I don't wear gloves. I just sanitize and wash my hands. And to all the homeless people out there that haven't got corona, nice job. Good luck. And take care. And thank you for cleaning up our city, homeless, because they're the ones that are go out and about and deal with the corona more than we do. Anyways, much love and respect to everybody out there in YouTube land and out there in TikTok land. I got to go. Take care.